Hey everyone, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to this brand new series. I'm starting every single Thursday. We're doing the ultimate chicken guide until December and then we're bringing it back up into January. In this video, we're going to be talking about the pecking order. If you don't know what the pecking order is, I will explain to you because it's a necessary like piece of knowledge that you need for raising chickens or even if you're already into raising chickens and you're thinking about getting your second batch that might be bigger than the first one or you're already planning on getting a pretty big batch of chick chickens this spring there's a term that you really need to know pecking order because it'll help you understand a lot of your chickens behaviors fighting and all that whatnot anyways stay tuned for the new series every thursday well first of all i'd like to explain what the pecking order even is in the first place if you don't know what the pecking order is well, allow me to explain. The pecking order is basically a social pyramid for the chickens. I've made a couple shorts on this before, but it's basically an order in which your chickens stand. You have the lower end chickens like Kit Kat right there, the Easter egg or Americana, or whatever you want to call them. They're the lower end. They're typically the bullied ones, which is why you shouldn't be that surprised that they're getting picked on. Although they can be the rooster's favorite sometimes. The next up we have the mid-tier chicken. This is what about 80% of your chickens likely classify as. These chickens are typically comprised of all hens, but if you have a rooster like Falcon, he'll likely fall right into the middle of the hierarchy for the chickens. If you don't know, the chickens are a little bit over Falcon and they respect humans instead of roosters. So Falcon falls right in the middle of this order. And then we have the high end. These are chickens like the Bard Rocks, the ones that compete for the top and come out victorious. Now, these are the ones where you have like two or three. You have the top notch, then you have the assistant. That's typically the chickens that love to hang out with the top or the upper end of the middle class. See, there's very few chickens in each end of it, which is why the chickens call it, this is why the chicken pecking order is basically like a social pyramid. Most of the chickens, fall right in the middle of it. Now, what is worth the pecking order that really makes it fighting? Well, the pecking order gives you different roles in the flock, such as, but not limited to, early access to food, water, treats, and all that whatnot, special treatment, and always the first ones out in the morning. Although, most of the higher end ones are actually right in the middle and are accompanied by their accomplices. Same thing with past leaders in the flock. Now typically, I want to mention this, this is when your chickens will begin this fighting for the order. Now typically there will be two cycles of it. The first cycle is when they're in the brooder, when they're under, I want to say around 10 weeks old. They'll have sort of a mini pecking order, which is why young ones love fighting with each other. These chickens are here. When they were all pretty young, they were all fighting with each other and all for at least like two or three weeks. And that had a very simple explanation. To put it simply, these chickens were basically trying to fight to see who's the leader of the brooder. This will never be official, and it's always just sort of a placeholder, and always sort of the practice for what's next. The second order is what I like to call the main order. Now this is the one that's typically set in stone. There can be adjustments if necessary. But typically this is where all the chickens fall under. Now typically they'll begin fighting for this order typically about a month and a half right before they begin laying eggs. They know they're gonna lay their eggs soon so you just want to establish that little order for them. Just that way they know exactly where they're gonna place in the future. Now these are you know, the reason for this is to put it best egg laying locations or the worst egg laying locations access to feed as i said earlier water better times to wake up and leave the coop and more access to more basically chicken luxury in the yard if you will this is probably a thing that you'll notice and they'll be fighting for about a week and a half now i'm going to teach you how you can, how you can tell where a chicken is here's how you can tell where your chicken placed. so number one is by looking at the chicken and looking at your chickens basically in the evening the ones that are still, the ones that are already up on the roost, like summer, and all those chickens are peacefully up there, are likely on the higher end of this order. They're like right there, right at the top, they get special seating on the roosting bar. So if they're already up there and the other chickens are still trying to get a location on the roosting bar, 
that's one way you can tell that yes there's already sort of a hierarchy forming with the chickens now another way you can tell is based on how good their conditions are in terms of health um, feathers and feathers are what you really want to focus in on but there can be some minor injuries that do ensue during this sort of like pecking order fighting drama thing I don't know I don't speak chicken exactly but either way you will notice that some of the chickens are missing their feathers even if you don't have a rooster in a flock and that is 100% normal I'll say that right then and there that's because they're likely on the lower end if you notice the chickens feathers are perfectly fine then they're likely right there at the top. And last but not least, if you have a rooster, that can really screw things up. Or if you add new chickens, that can really screw things up. Fortunately, this flock isn't too crazy on the pecking order. They don't enforce it too badly on each other. It's sort of just there to say, oh, who gets the better spot on the roost bar? The farm flock, chaos would ensue whenever there's a chicken there. Video, be sure to click the like and subscribe button. I have another video just for you on the screen right now, waiting for you personally. Anyways, see you in the next video. The series will be many, many, many weeks long, and probably by the time we meet again on this Thursday next year, till I believe it'll be like the 27th or something like that. Actually, the 28th because of the leap year. Well, then. I will, well, the series will likely still be proceeding. Anyways, I'm not subscribed.